हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माई नेम इज डॉक्टर लॉकेंद्र सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डी एन एफ वर्सिस यम सो मैनी पीपल स्टिल हैव बीन यूजिंग ओनली यम बिकॉज एज दे आर मच फेमिलियर विद दैट बट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट डी एन एफ एंड यम सो डी एन एफ कम्स अप विद लॉट मोर फास्ट एन अप प्रोसेस कंज्यूम्स लेस मेमरी सपोर्ट्स पाइथन थ्री wherein yum does not provide that feature like uh, with the time passes yum is still working but not that effective as it is supposed to be so let us see like how much difference is there uh, let me tell you first of all there is a particular machine which i have with me etc os dash release so it is rhl 9.1 the another machine cat etc to check version we can read this particular file 9.1 like both the machines are of same version both are of rhl now let us say if i want to perform anything here such as i want to install here pm update okay let us let us do one thing like yum clean all right and over here let us do dnf clean all commands remain same oh the spelling is mistake right so both are going to work in the same way now the very next thing which i'm supposed to do here is let us have a particular time command before it e time em list we are going to list all the available packages here we are going to run a command time dnf list why i have placed this time command because i really want to know that how much time it is taking wherein both the operating systems have almost same configuration same stuff so how much time it has taken let us see the comparison of both it has taken 7.550 second it has taken 7.4 so in real time it is better okay now let's try to update the system em update minus y let us place time before it so it is going to install almost same same number of packages let us see how much time it is going to take this is yum over here let us run the same command again dnf okay let us place time before time dnf update minus y it is also going to install same number of package because in order to run, have the real comparison what i have done here is i have selected same image for both the particular package managers whether it is yum or whether it is dnf so dnf is a particular latest version of yum only all the particular commands which are supported with your yum same kind of commands are supported with dnf as well the major difference here is em comes and supports with uh, python 2.7 or 2.8 wherein dnf supports python 3 moreover the memory consumption the particular speed and other stuff which are consumed and which are provided by dnf are much better the, the particular programming has been fantastic it works really fast in comparison to em so let us see both the systems are still running so if you see so somewhere or the other it is like both are going to take some time in order to do process wherein i executed command on this particular system which is of yum i am using this particular system with yum command and this particular os i am using with dnf command so let us see and obviously we have placed the time command so we will actually get to know like how much time the particular systems are taking for installation moreover we will try to perform the downgrade as well as we have done upgrade so we will try to downgrade the particular systems right so let us wait for a while that how much it is going to take so it has taken 1 minute and 58 seconds so so many people have been claiming that it takes less time so let us see that in real time i don't know because uh, how much faster is that that's why i have placed a particular command before it 
that how much it how much it is going to take so 1 minute 53 seconds and 1 minute 58 seconds so 5 second difference is there so system has taken this much time almost same time is there and if we talk about real time so real time is approx 5 second difference is there 1 minute 53 and 1 minute 58 so 5 second difference is there so obviously dnf is faster if we talk about overall okay now let us say if i have to roll back the particular changes which i have done so i'll run a command em history okay D dnf history okay i have uh, done couple of uh, like uh, stuff before as well so i want to undo this em okay dnf history undo number six so the particular step which I have done here, I want to undo it. Right guys, I want to undo it. So overall, like it has installed and updated couple of packages. If you want to see the difference, like what, what it has done. So you can run a command EM history info and the particular command ID. So it is going to print like what has been updated and what has been uh, like update this and it has been updated to this particular version. Right. So this is how it works. Moreover, if I want to go for yum history undo number six minus y. So it will not ask you even that it is going to re like roll back the particular packages. So as earlier it was showing that updated. So it, it is like we're ending downgrading. If we run the same command with yum. So let us see yum history run this command. So there are only couple of commands. The, uh, executed here related to yum so yum history undo and three minus y let us see what happens so even this is going to perform the same operation so guys keep this thing in mind the commands are not going to be modified here like install update remove info that that sort of things are there so you can use either of the tool i would not say that what is what is the particular recommended tool for you but yes in term of like advancement in term of like uh, memory consumption in term of like speed so dnf is a little better in comparison to dnf so it is completed even it is completed right so if you want to see like what has been done so these are the particular downgraded packages right so these two packages which were installed these have been removed and system has been restored to previous state moreover if you want to talk about DNF, so you can set a couple of aliases here based on your requirement. For example, you have to run any command very frequently. Like uh, you can talk about yum, let us say history, you run very frequently, 